Hello. Uh, I want to do an update on the uh, transmission filter I put on my GM truck. It's a uh, 4L60 electronic transmission. And I got my lab, re lab reports back. Um, last June it had uh, 129 ppm of uh, iron. And uh, in November it was uh, 82 after the uh, fluid had been changed out and after I put this filter on it dropped down to 22 after only 500 miles and the dirt content was you, you wouldn't believe the difference um, what I put on there is, is I had a uh, uh, remote filter mount made by b and I think I bought that from Summit Racing it was, it was a good price and I also have a magnifying, but I chose to use the uh, other filter instead. And instead of using the uh, stock filter that came with that base, I went ahead and I, I ordered a different one. This is what I ordered. You can see it's a regular hydraulic filter, and it's a uh, it's a shorter version of this, but. I think it's about maybe this long, about three and a half inches long. And uh, after about 200 miles of driving, it, it, it started shifting good. And uh, April last year, the uh, particle count on it was 24, 23, 20. And the lab said anything above 2017, 15 is, is, uh, uh, too dirty for continued service and in November it was 22 21 18 it was still too dirty for continued service after after the fluid had been changed out in twice uh, the first time it was a pan drop and the second time it, it was a full uh, fluid change but uh, needless to say that that dirt just kept washing out of the uh, torque converter and uh, once I put this uh, uh, remote spin on filter on there it did uh, really did a good job of cleaning it up because uh, last time I tested it, it was in uh, April of this year uh, the, the numbers was seven, 17, 16, 14 it's about 30 times less than the, uh, the last time it was tested and, and the only difference is it, it had that filter put on there so that filter was uh, very effective at cleaning a bunch of uh, 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 dirt and debris out, out of the fluid. And uh, the iron content went uh, uh, it was 80 and it went down to 20. And uh, it doesn't have a magnet on it or anything like that. And uh, the magnifying filter's got a, got a magnet in it and it forces the uh, fluid right over the top of a magnet. And uh, the uh, Allison transmissions in the heavy duty models, usually like the Duramax, they've got a filter uh, or a magnet right on the top of the filter where, where the uh, oil comes into the filter. And uh, when I clean them off, there, there's always a bunch of peach fuzz on them and, and it's just uh, iron filings out of the torque converter. And uh, I found out they, they make a little uh, a thin filter like that, or a thin magnet like that that uh, was used for uh, Baja racing and uh, they're using it on motorcycles and, and some guy said that after three hours of riding his uh, four-wheeler he couldn't believe all the crap that was on that magnet so that that's another option to uh, collect contaminants but I, I just wanted to uh, share my experience with you on this uh, uh, remote filter that, that I put on there and, and I'll also give you the uh, part number for it and it there, there's another company, uh, I believe it's called Durali. They have a, a competing filter base, uh, uh, basically the same kit that's just uh, put out by a different company. And I don't, I don't think it makes any difference which one you buy. The same filter uh, should fit both. And then you can buy a different insert for, for the filter to get a different thread base, but there's really no sense in that. Anyway, this filter fits a tractor, and you may have to order it in. Because it's, it's not a, a common filter for inventory. Well, that's what I have today, and uh, thanks for watching, and uh, welcome any comments.